In this video, we're just going to go over a little practice on while loops. So remember, a loop is essentially a way of executing some code repeatedly without having to copy and paste that code. And a while loop allows a developer or a program or whatever to execute a line of code or several lines of code whilst a certain condition is true. So we'll make a few uh, while loops and uh, just I'll explain them just a little bit in the practice. But really, I'd just like people to um, to kind of just, you know, go along with this. Right. So we'll make a variable called count and we'll call it zero. And we'll say while count is less than five do something okay um, we're gonna print count is um, let's say it's this string of count okay and then we are going to say count plus equals one um, if you remember from the last video, plus equals just means add whatever's to the right to the variable on the left. Right, and what should happen here is I think we'll print out count five times. Not entirely sure here. Or, no, actually, it's pr probably going to be six times, is it? I don't know. Let's have a little look here. Count is zero, one, two, three, four. So it was five times, right? It was five times. And what happen what's happening here is we're saying that while count is less than five, do this. So while the condition is true, that count is less than five, do this. We print this, we get zero, and then count goes to one. We get one printed out, and then count goes to two. Two printed out, then count goes to three. Three printed out, then count goes to four. And four is printed out. Then count goes to five. And then this count, this condition is not met because count is now not less than five. It is five, so it's not greater than five, but it's not less than five. So it doesn't execute again. And that's why count is four is what is printed out, essentially. I've just shown you this because in the last video, I just showed you Boolean values rather than com comparison operators. So I'll show you the comparison operators. And we can also say... Well, count two. Well, so we'll make a variable called count two, and we'll make it equal to five. And we can say while count two is more than zero, print count two is la di da di da plus string of count two and what we're doing here is more or less going to be the same as what we did there except we're going to do it in reverse we're going to subtract from count one every time we loop and we're going to count down from five rather than counting up from zero and this should i think this should print out five times and it should print out from five uh, to zero, not inclusive of zero. So five, four, three, two, one. Let's have a look. So oh, we've run it, but it's not going. Count minus equals one. Ah, that's why. Count two. Sorry about that. Run that again. There we are. Sorry about that. I put count by accident. So count two is five, four, three, two, one. Okay. And it's exactly the same as this while loop here, just in reverse. We're just subtracting from the count instead of adding to it. And we eventually arrive to a figure where count two is not greater than zero, which allows us to terminate the loop. Remember, if you do not make uh, it possible for the condition to be false the while loop will never terminate and you'll either end up with that signal and error that i had before because i didn't notice that i put count instead of count two or you'll just end up with you know the loop repeating itself endlessly so in order to not have an infinite loop make sure that this condition is eventually made false by the code or maybe some some other code within your program whatever right okay so that's that easy enough now we'll do repeat so we'll do Repeat, 
pop up. I don't know. Print ninety nine. And we'll say while ninety nine is less than ninety seven. I'm not sure if that actually will work. That might cause an error actually. Oh, it did work apparently. And 99 is not less than 97, but because we use repeat, what happens with a repeat while uh, statement is the code is run first of all, and then after each each uh, like iteration of the code being run, after each time the code is run, we check whether the condition is true. So here we just actually you know use this code, and then we check whether the condition has been met. Now, I can prove this because I can make a while loop, just a regular while loop, and I'll say, well, 99 is less than 97. We'll print, what should we print? We'll print just all these numbers. You can make up some numbers yourself. And you'll actually see when we run this that nothing is printed out. And that's because 97 uh, being less than 90, 99 being less than 97 isn't true. So the condition is false, right? Which means, and the while loop here will check the condition is true, and because the condition is false, this loop won't even activate. Whereas here, the repeat loop, uh, the repeat while loop, doesn't check the code the first time it runs. It just says, do this, and then check whether the condition is true. So here it prints out 99, okay? Anyway, that's it for the practice. Thanks for watching, and hope you enjoyed.